Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 21st. March 21st is the 80th day of the year, 81st in leap years, in the Gregorian calendar, with 285 days remaining until the end of the year. In astrology, the day of the equinox is the first full day of the sign of Aries, and is also the traditional first day of the astrological year. In the 21st century, the equinox usually occurs on March 19th or 20th and has occurred on March 21st only in 2003 and 2007. The next time the equinox occurs on March 21st will be 2102. So as I mentioned yesterday, this year's equinox actually occurred on the 19th. Today's word is hosmanize. This is a verb meaning to develop or rebuild an area, especially on a massive scale. This is coined after George Eugene Haussmann, who lived from 1809 to 1891, and he was appointed by Napoleon III to carry out the renovation of Paris. Earliest documented use of this word Haussmannize was 1865. He carried out a massive overhaul of Paris that involved demolishing whole neighborhoods. The new Paris had, among other things, widened tree-lined boulevards, new parks, fountains, sewers, aqueducts, and more. His renovation of Paris inspired other cities around the world to carry out similar overhauls. Haussmann was forced out as opposition to him swelled due to huge disruption of life as some 20,000 buildings were destroyed. And then of course the cost overruns. I would like to take a moment to remind you that links to my research is included in the show notes. And I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Remember that you can share this video with others, either with a link in your email or through social media. And with that, we're going to start with the birthday of Johann Sebastian Bach, who was born on March 21st, 1685. On March 21st, 1788, New Orleans experienced a fire that left most of the city in ruins. On March 21st, 1804, French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte enacted a new legal framework for France, as well as the rest of the empire, which was then and is now known as the Napoleonic Code. Journalist Henry Morton Stanley began his famous search through Africa for the missing British explorer, Dr. David Livingston, on March 21, 1871. He found him too, hence the famous phrase, Dr. Livingston, I presume? This is the birthday of American German astronomer and critic, Halton Arp born March 21st, 1927. He lived to the age of 86. In 1928, Charles Lindbergh was presented with the Medal of Honor for his first solo transatlantic flight. For the second time in a week, a plot to assassinate Hitler failed on March 21st, 1943. History's first rock concert was planned for this date in 1952. Known as the Moondog Coronation Ball, it was set to take place in Cleveland, Ohio. Unfortunately, and for a variety of reasons, more than twice as many people showed up as the venue would even hold. Things got out of hand, and the police had to shut it down. Alcatraz Prison transferred its last prisoners out and shut down for good on March 21, 1963. On March 21, 1965, Martin Luther King Jr. did begin his march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. On March 21, 1980, President Jimmy Carter announced that the United States would be boycotting the Olympic Games in Moscow. Also on March 21, 1980, the famous cliffhanger episode of the primetime soap opera Dallas aired. This was the one where J.R. Ewing, the hard-nosed oil man everyone loved to hate, was shot by an unknown assailant. He had so many enemies, you know, that all the fans of the show were trying to figure out who could have done it. Was this person or that person? But as a result of this cliffhanger, the phrase, who shot J.R., was on everybody's lips through the entire summer. 
And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that links to my research are included in the show notes. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share if you found this interesting or informative. Check out my other channel, H. Susquehanna. There's a link to that in the show notes. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Okay, we gotta make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. And yeah, we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> so many mistakes. We're not gonna go into all that, okay. I don't know how all that's gonna go together or if it's even gonna make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not gonna go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> That might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>